complete. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The fun has begun on this Saturday night, and we're ready to look back at all the first half action. Orlando in a hard-fought game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. They find themselves sitting in fourth place in the conference. We've seen Michael Carter-Williams producing at will against the Cavaliers. He's got a dozen points and not much to complain about with his shot selection either. A nice field goal percentage in the first half. And the Cavaliers, boy, they're putting up a fight. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. Andre Drummond making his presence felt early. He's got six points and is putting out the effort defensively as well, making his presence felt on both ends of the floor. New tight games around the NBA. Let's check them out. For the Pacers in Indiana, we find them trailing to Dallas. They've fallen behind by five points in the third in that one. And the other game also going on still. The Phoenix Suns currently trailing the Jazz out in Utah. They'll have to overcome a seven-point deficit in the fourth quarter to pull it out. That'll be all for this episode. It's in the books. I'm all done reading. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Really an incredible game from Fournier. Yeah, what a remarkable half the way he attacked the rim and scored in the paint. Defenders yeah, they were trying to slow him down any way possible, but he still got through. Easier said than done when he's the penetrator. His speed and agility make him extremely hard to defend. We've got Evan Fournier, and it's Randall into the point. That's who's out there for Orlando. The Cavaliers trail by six. Throws it up high, and it's Drummond with the jam. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. Time now for an injury report. Guys, I got a status report from the Magic's head athletic trainer. He relayed to me that he strained his abdomen, an injury that has him in a lot of pain right now. Losing a player like him in the meat of the season is tough for any side, and their depth will be tested during this time frame. All right, Doris, thank you. And Steve and Clark, uh, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. No, Kevin, it's, you know, guys, it's really too bad. Just a terribly unfortunate turn of events here. Well, yeah, you hate to see that happen. In the meantime, his team has to compensate for the loss. And let's see how they step up. Boy, that mid-range jumper is a beautiful thing to have in your bag, and they've had it going today. Yeah, but look down at the other end of the court, and the same has not held true. It's Prince on the wing. That misses, and a chance to tie it there. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Fournier dishes to Gordon. Off target from three-point range. The Cavaliers trail by three. It's a pick by Love. Here's Sexton. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. 13 points in the game. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Fires high post. They retain possession. Kept the live Orlando. Now the pass to Fournier. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Della Vidova. Drummond. Great positioning on the putback. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He, he just is one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. And he really is a tough guy to go up against because he throws his weight around so often and with reckless abandon. I mean, it can really wear you down physically. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip in, well done. And that's, you know, a quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. Yeah, it's the anticipation more than anything. It's understanding where that ball is going before anybody else on the floor does. And that one falls for Fournier. The Magic making a switch here. And so Fournier nails both of them. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Cavaliers. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And here on our 
2K leaderboard, you see a breakdown of the best free throw shooting centers and power forwards over the past month. Number one, Kevin Love. Uh, he's got great rhythm, great form at the foul line, and sometimes we don't see that in big guys, but he's impeccable at the line. Well, getting to the top spot on that list has been always has always been a goal of his, and he's worked hard to get there, developing a very repeatable stroke. And as you said, it's the kind of form you love to see in anybody, but especially a big guy. That's good. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Anthony, the pass to Vucevic. Good. Vucevic has got his first points of the game. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the butt. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Now the feed to Love. Drummond defended by Vucevic. Sexton from outside off the mark. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Clark gets to Fournier. His three-pointers off the mark. The Cavaliers have done a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up a foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Look to me like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials. A nice call. That play can be tough to judge sometimes. He feeds it to Love. Plenty of space. The putback. And Drummond throws it down. And the Cavaliers lead by four. And now we can see them really working it inside. Now, taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. Oh, that's blocked. Delapadova defended by Randall. Magic have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. There's the dish to Clark. Backing in. Passes it to Fournier. Fades away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Well, let's take a look at where Orlando ended up, Kevin, rank-wise in the league last year. Fourth in fewest turnovers per game. Eighth in steals. And they were in the top ten in team blocks. Not elite level, but pretty good nonetheless. Very well coached team, Clark. I mean, you look at the numbers and you talked about the, the few turnovers. The top five in the league, in fact, in fewest mistakes. So uh, this is a well-disciplined, well-coached team. When they're on their game, they're just one of those teams you hate to play against because they don't give you anything easy. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is over here. Well, I just, man. you know what, oh, he's Kevin? Disgusting. Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. Right side. It's stolen by Carter Williams. Now he's playing possum there, guys. And as soon as that pass came out of the post, he was on it. Orlando moving the ball around. Gordon dishes to Fournier. Soft touch on the pass. Fournier's got nine points now in just the second half. I tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And so it's Cleveland with it. They lead by one. Their next game is at Oracle Arena, so a road game with the Warriors. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. A putback, and Allen with the slam. They've done a terrific job of getting offensive rebounds and then converting those here in the second half. I mean, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but they've turned them all into points. 17-foot shot on the way. No good from Fournier. Friends outside. No one near him. 
Orlando grabs the miss. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Here's Fournier. Good on the winner. Fournier's got 33. Cleveland's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Number 35. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Fournier's got his third rebound tonight. For the lead. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Prince. And the layup's good off the glass. Prince has got five points now this quarter. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. Easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Fournier passes to Carter Williams. He nails it. And we'll tie it up. Carter Williams has got 15 points. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. It's a pick by Love. Inside. Here's Allen. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Allen's got his second basket. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until they prove they can stop them, I mean, they ought to continue to pound it in low. Here's Sexton. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Well, Orlando is shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. To the paint. Kicks it to Fournier. He dishes it to Carter Williams. And he misses the go-ahead basket. A tight game here in Orlando. Four seconds separate in the shot and game clocks. Pass to Fournier. Makes the lead pass. It's stolen by Allen. Love outside. From eight. And the jumper is good. Love's got seven. Here's Carter Williams. Two on the clock. And that one is stuck right through. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Uh, didn't he? It was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Double the Nova. No good. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams training best. Next Wednesday, December 16th, the San Antonio Spurs go up against the Chicago Bulls. Live from Chicago. Don't miss it. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And they're attacking the gaps in the defense with their quick, aggressive drives into the paint area. So on the floor for Cleveland. And that one misses. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Orlando trailing here. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Should be a good one for the Timberwolves today. I'm anxious to see what ends up happening there. Now a look at the Cavaliers' upcoming schedule. Their next game is at Oracle Arena, so a road game with the Warriors. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Yeah, and you know the fans out in L.A. really hoping for a win in that one. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Prince has checked in. He's off on the second. That miss at the line might stick in his craw for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. Here's the screen. Launches it. Rebounded by Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside Gordon. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. 
Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, I mean, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. Terrence, huh? And that Terrence. one's good. I think Clark and Steve, we can expect the dramatic end of this one. Well, eight lead changes would have you thinking that would be the case. Yeah, both teams really competing. Neither side giving any ground. Well, this should be a fun finish. I agree with you, Clark. What a top-notch game he's had. He's got him in front, and it sure seems like he's going to keep him there. All by himself, it looks like. Here's Sexton. Picks it out to Prince. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And upcoming the schedule for the Orlando Magic. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. The Cavaliers trailing. Feeds to Drummond. And he dumps it down. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> One of his favorite moves right there, guys. <laughs> and he does it as well as anyone. Tremendous skill in the air. Vucevic backing down. No good from Fournier. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Wallace with it, now guarded by Vucevic. Prince outside. Rocket six. They get the rebound. Sexton defended by Fournier. Prince outside. Fires from deep. There's the bucket. Good. Prince. Prince has got 11 points here in just the second half. That's his second three-pointer of the half and his third overall. Carter Williams gets to Fournier. Lets it fly from 18. And that one goes long. The Cavaliers leading by three. Pass to Prince. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Assistant. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty from that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Gordon dishes to Fournier. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Cleveland's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Sexton. Again, the Cavaliers score. Good work to tack some more points onto this lead. Those are the kind of possessions they can build on and begin to pull away here. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, over that break, I listened in on what head coach for the Magic was getting across in the huddle. He was riding them pretty hard for the number of silly fouls they've committed in this game. He said, listen, we need to have some defensive discipline. Stop fighting on the shot fakes, stop reaching in, and stop giving them free points at the free throw line. We'll see if they'll respond, guys. And Gordon drops them both. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Dishes to Love. From past the arc. It's rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Gordon with it. Guarded now by Prince. He kicks it to Fournier. Banked in off the glass. Fournier's got 38 points. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Back to Love. And there's the pass to Drummond. And Cleveland again with the bucket. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Lumbo, guarded by Prince. Down low. No good from Fournier. Boy, you wonder what the score of this game would be if they weren't pulling down all these rebounds. Love what I'm seeing from them in the paint. Prince misses. The Magic trail by five. He's guarded by Love. Gordon goes in. Boy, it's been a tough go in terms of fouls for him. I mean, my goodness, he can't stay out of the way of fouls. Gordon.
The free throw drops for Gordon. And Gordon drops them both. Cleveland leading by three. Sexton defended by Fournier. Here's Sexton. And he was fine on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Easy call there. No question about that. You can hear the impact from where I am. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Orlando, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. And both tenning is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. That's some grit and determination in the post. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. Wide open look. The shot is off. The Magic trail by three. Fournier pass to Vucevic. Gordon kicks to Vucevic. No good. Prince with the defensive effort. Well, they've had the advantage on in rebounding all night, but none bigger than the one right there. He passes to Drummond. To the inside. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Sexton. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Orlando, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. He's guarded by Love. Here's Humble. And it's blocked by Love. And Fournier kicks to Gordon. Clock is at three. Goes back up. Yeah, he'll make the walk of shame back to the bench. He gets to watch the rest from the sideline. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yep, ball movement, player movement. They're generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. This is where their depth becomes such an asset. He's going for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to fill the very capable replacement. The Magic making a switch here. Clark's checked in. They swipe it. The big jump at the end of the break. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers with the hustle stats for the Magic. Boy, they're hounding, harassing up at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. You also can't overlook how well they defended the rim because they've challenged virtually every shot in the paint. Up in hit. An offense here with the match. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Clark dishes the goal. The feed to Carter Williams. A three pointer off the mark. Cavaliers have gone 6 of 13, so just about 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. The three, Love. Another miss by Love. Orlando leading. One or two left in the game. Here's Fournier. The offensive rebound. A second chance effort. Sexton, defended by Clark, nails it, and tie game, that is a huge basket right there. Huge points. That's beyond you, Steve, I mean, they needed that desperate. Oh, oh, oh no. listen to that. That shot of listening a roar from this gigantic crowd. That was huge, guys, absolutely huge. But unfortunately, the defense is taking a big chance, leaving him back wide open behind the arc. Carter Williams gets to Fournier. Fast break, here they come. Here's Sexton. Yes! Boy, that was a massive sequence of events there. Absolutely clutch defense to trigger the break. And we've seen games decided on plays clutch just like that. Yeah. Effort and hustle plays often are big plays for a team. Yeah, what a time to blow up a play and then turn it into a slam at the other end. Now, Carter Williams... Fournier. Oh, they're 
chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one go now to overtime. So Cleveland will get the first possession. And no shortage of excitement here, and we're officially underway in overtime in this game. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here, brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So on the floor for Orlando. They've got Carter Williams. Also, Evan Fournier out there. Vucevic is out there with Aminu. And it's Gordon in at the four slot. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. From 17 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Now, here's Aminu. Started by Prince. Here's Fournier. Trains it to nine feet away. Fournier's got 43 points. The Cavaliers shooting reasonably well, 45%. Back to Prince. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Vucevic. Magic shooting 47% from the four. Getting it done. Here's Fournier. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And the first one drops. Andre Drummond's check in for JaVale McGee. And so he makes both from the line. He's having a great game at the free throw line, Kevin. His hot streak continues. He feeds it to Love. But three. That one goes. Come on. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. And that's how you explore the gap in the D, I guess. Huh? Yes, sir. No <laughs> soft finish there. Major power. And he knows an opportunity for the highlight reel when he sees one. Just over a minute and a half played here in overtime. The dish to Prince. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. You're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Prince. He's got 26 points, and he sprayed home three three-pointers as well. Yeah, productive day for him from long range. And both free throws good for Prince. Orlando trailing here. Pass to Vucevic. Deflected. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Gordon, the pass to Fournier. Cavaliers with the rebound. Love's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And now Orlando on the break. Here's Fournier. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact too. That one on Love. Evan Fournier. So the first one drops, and that ties the game up. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And Orlando making a change here. Hanson defended by Carter Williams. Love outside. They grab their own miss. Drummond gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Drummond's got 20. Boy, he crashed the boards with purpose right there. Well-deserved second chance. <laughs> Went to the windmill dump to turn this place on its head. I love it. Yeah, this crowd is stunned. And they should be, Kevin. That was one elaborate finish. The Cavaliers shooting reasonably well, 45%. Not loose and out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Huge turnover there and at a bad time, too. You have to value every possession. Stolen away. Here's Sexton. And it's blocked by Carter Williams. 
Here's Fournier. Back to Gordon. Kicks it to Carter Williams. Oh, good on the triple. And that's a shot you can't pass up. He should knock that down. Good! Boy, that was a big shot. And that one just flattened this crowd, Kevin. Yeah, nothing you can do as a fan after a shot like that. Just shake your head. The drive by Gordon. on the offensive board. It's not about ability as much as it is desire. And that Clark and some muscle. And he showed us he's got plenty of that with the huge dunk. Well, in a tight game, I mean, they could use a few more of those hustle plays going forward if they're going to win. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Just under three and a half minutes played in the extra period here. Here's the lob to the hook. That's the epitome of teamwork right there, Kevin, on the alley -oop. Clark, what about the finish? Bring it down with some thunder. Yeah, lightning, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, the pass was even better. He put it on that seat. Platter for And out of bounds is the magic will gain possession. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Here's Fournier. Shot clock at six. One on one here. Here's Getson. Money! And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Time call here. The Magic decided to talk it over. Here's Fournier. That will count. Regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they managed to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, but they pulled away at the end. Now that they're close for Craig Miller and Steve Kerr, endorsed Burt Kavanaugh saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan Blair of the game.